Brooklyn Independent Television. I was actually asked by Celebrate Brooklyn if I was interested in scoring the film. It just so happened to be that I was a huge Bruce Lee fan growing up, so it was, it was definitely the, the, the perfect project just kind of falling into our laps. You know, so you have so many things along our careers where we dream of these projects and they really don't happen, so. Finally, when he called us and he said, you know, it's all, are you guys on? Because this is, this is happening and, uh, and I'm super excited. He's like, you bet we're on. I think Bruce Lee was the first poster boy of Kung Fu, at least uh, in India. All the others, like Jackie Chan, Jet Li and all these guys came much later. He just lights up the screen. For any kid who's into Kung Fu or into any kind of action movies, he's the perfect action hero. The original idea was just to basically play live along with the film, which is easy to do when it's a silent film or a, you know, a film that doesn't have so much dialogue. But it definitely became very apparent that we needed to basically start from scratch and basically start as if the movie was a, a brand new film. This is the original opening of the movie. <laughs> Starts like that. As you can see, it's a very Chinese style opening. It was very important to kind of keep in mind that this time around, people who are watching the screen are now, they're now watching a legend and not seeing an, a, a character for the first time. The original score being very kind of loud and orchestral and we brought it down to just drone and, and heavy drums. Kirsch designed the basic framework of how the music should flow in the film. What are the cues? Where is silence? Where is music? And uh, he started scoring. Basically what I did first and foremost is I just got the film and just muted the original sound and just started writing music to certain scenes. And then as I would finish, I would start sending it to him and give him a cue. And uh, said, okay boys, can you help now? These cues you do, these cues I'll do. Internet was a big help for us because we were throwing files at each other back and forth. Even though God will be in his house, I'll be in my house, Gersh will be at over here in Brooklyn. We could easily just talk in terms of time signatures. Let's go to uh, 8 minutes and 28 seconds. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like we were all looking at different files. Most of the instruments that you, that you would be hearing are actually pre-recorded because it's orchestral stuff and it's uh, and that really just comes down to if we had a bigger budget we would have had an orchestra up there with us. Primarily I play the keyboards. Uh, we used to be drummers when we were younger but then after seeing Kirsch we gave it up. When we were performing this, is about probably about 70% of the music is already being played. And then what we're doing is actually manipulating some of the sound, adding some more instrumentation, and then there's live percussion, live tablas, live drums. The main theme of the film, which is actually the opening credits, um, initially was uh, you know, very kind of funky, guitar-driven, uh, uh, like very 70s style piece of music. Mm. Just the original letter, I'm a shipping thing. I always felt like they'd, they'd scored it a bit more like it was a cop movie or if it was. Uh, um, you know, like a detective film or something like that. And at this point, we wanted to give it more of a larger-than-life feel and give Bruce Lee a, a real theme beyond just the character in the movie itself, but 
once again as the legend that he is. So to create a bit more drama for. scenes they were kind of kept more on the electronic side as opposed to being uh, more orchestral or drums and big percussion they they were kept very straight up electronic tight it's very tight and very fast and there's a lot of different um, I mean it's very rhythmic what he's doing so this of course is another very famous moment when he grabs the nunchuck i think many people in the world for the first time saw somebody handle nunchucks like that you have offended my family, and you have offended the Shaman Temple. The night we performed it at Celebrate Brooklyn definitely surpassed my expectations. You worked for a month on this project uh, diligently, and you you've put your heart and soul into it, and then you have. Not hundred, not two hundred, but seven, eight thousand people looking at it. Everyone and anyone who was there, at least a big chunk of the people who were there were fans. We have seen the movie at least four or five times and they're just, just there to see the new version of it. Usually when we play a concert, they come out to see us perform. So in this particular context, there was also a fear of messing with something that's a, that's a classic. Watching that movie with, with that music in the background was like watching Into the Dragon on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was great. Thank great. you so much. Brilliant, brilliant work. Wow. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.